Good evening, Corvallis, and welcome to your Wednesday night edition of the Beaver News. We're glad to have you with us. I'm Chris Sept. And I'm Mackenzie Allen. For some, prom is the night of a lifetime. For others, though, it's a night of expenses. According to Brittany Galliano of the Daily Barometer, Oregon State business students are doing what they can to make prom more affordable. The BA 161 class is collecting slightly used dresses to be sold at discounts for high schoolers in need this Saturday, January 19th at Emmanuel Evangelical Lutheran Church in Salem from 1 to 3 p.m. So far, over 100 dresses have been donated. In addition to providing low-cost dresses, Redress the Dress will donate all profits to the Marion Polk Food Share. Pastor Craig Wasser looks forward to being able to host this event, saying, quote, It's really a creative and awesome thing. You have girls who can't wait to go to the prom, yet so many parents can't always afford the best-looking prom dresses. So here you have this fundraiser for people who are hungry. We are also helping people have the prom dresses and have one of the more special nights of the year. Sex educator, author, and feminist pornographer Tristan Taramino spoke to a crowd of approximately 300 people about sexual empowerment Tuesday in LaSalle Stewart Center at Oregon State University. According to Kayla Har of the Daily Barometer, Taramino was invited and then uninvited to be a keynote speaker at Intercultural Student Services Modern Sex Conference, which will conclude today. After being turned down by the university, Taramino delivered Claiming Your Sexual Identity, her intended keynote address, independent of the conference. The Memorial Union Program Council and Associated Students of Oregon State University funded Taramino's ex appearance when students expressed a desire to bring Taramino to campus after the OSU administration determined that general funds would be an inappropriate source of funding for her talk because of her website and her work as a pornographer. Taramino focused on developing communication, boundaries, and confidence around sex in her talk, addressing labels and double standards associated with sex. Former gymnast Laura Ann Chong has been selected for OSU's National Association for Sport and Physical Education Major of the Year, according to the Daily Barometer. Nominated by Dr. Brad Cardinal, Chong is majoring in exercise and sports science, as well as minoring in both psychology and public health. Cardinal chose to nominate Chong based on her dedication as a student coach for the gymnastics team and as the vice president of the Pre-Therapy Allied Health Club. The Major of the Year Award will be presented at the American Association for Health, Physical Education, Recreation, and Dance Convention in San Diego. To be considered for this award, students must have at least a 3.25 GPA, at least 120 credits, and have been involved with at least three service projects outside of class. The Oregon State University Administration's recent decision to make the campus smoke-free by the fall of 2012 caught the Associated Students of OSU House and Senate by surprise. Eric Sepulveda of the Daily Barometer reports that Speaker of the House Drew Halton said that Students' Freedom Act was passed in both the House and Senate by November 30, 2010, enabling students' right to smoke on campus and countering tobacco cessation discussions last fall. ASOSU representatives are frustrated that their input wasn't recognized in the administration's decision. According to a statement made by ASOSU, quote, we are concerned about what else might be pushed through and implemented without students' input or approval, end quote. The House responded to the administration's recent decision to go smoke-free by presenting a new resolution to better ensure that students' voices would be heard now and in the future, known as the Students' Voice Act. 